right, so welcome to another episode of an eBay unboxing. What else? All right, let's get to it. We'll start with, I guess, the white box. Okay, so this makes me a little nervous. This It sounds like, like crushed styrofoam. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> I ordered so many things, I forget. I forget what I order. And so we'll use a fish knife, a fish deboning knife, to excavate this archaeological dig over here without trying to damage what's inside of it. I, I do request special packaging a lot of times from the sellers. And I ask them nicely to please, you know, make sure whatever it is doesn't come damaged. And uh, some people, you know, do a good job and some people don't. And, you know, that's the game of eBay. You just never know. And you see some crazy packing. I've seen, like, the most craziest packing. And I have to do this very gently because you crack maniacs. Oh, a light just went out. Did you just see that? You crack maniacs. Yeah, one of my LED bulbs that is supposed to last for like 90 years just went out. Uh, we just installed that, what, six months ago? Oh, yeah, those LED bulbs are just fantastic, right? Don't get me started. You'll think I'm political. But, uh, yeah, I like the good old incandescent Thomas Alva Edison uh, bulb way better than the LEDs, basically. Seriously, I would like to go back to those. All right, let's get this bitch open. I said in my years, my many years of doing this, uh, you always get some weird packing ideas. Okay, so it's basically a piece of styrofoam, styrofoam that was hollowed out, like so. Oof. Sellers try to come up with unusual ways to pack things, and please, God, please, it's glass. Let it be okay. And, oh, wow, this came pretty fast. Okay, I'll tell you the story, back story. Okay, not that, do you hear my dogs barking? Oh, how annoying. Okay. Backstory. So I so I can't concentrate. Hold on one second. I think I have attention hyperactivity de uh, deficit disorder or something. I got to get the dogs to stop barking. Okay, at this point, I realize it's not happening. All right, so I saw this. And I'm going to pronounce it incorrectly. So this is probably going to be a piece of shiz. All right, so I saw a piece of Lalique glass. Probably pronouncing it wrong. And the seller had, an, and now it's like rare to find them in atomizers from the 20s, if you know what I mean. And it was shit pictures. When I say shit, it was like, you needed like, I'm not kidding you to like, fuck around with your, your contrast and your, uh, you know what I mean? Play around. you like, I had to save the photos to my computer and screw around with the contrast and the level of brightness. It was still terrible. All pixelated, dark. You couldn't see a shit and thing. But I did notice that it was a little toasty on the top, if you know what I mean. A $99 opening bid. I contacted the seller. Yes, I'm a little bit. I, I, I was like, oof, I always wanted to add these to my collection. And I contacted the seller. Said, I'll give you 50 bucks for this if you end the auction. Now, I knew she did not know what this was because this was the only item she was selling. And she only sold like three items in the past. So she was a newbie. She wrote back, no, with exclamation points like five times across the screen. I gave up. I said, okay, there was no way I was going to bid $99 on this item with a shit description that was like maybe three sentences and uh, shit pictures. And so it ended. Nobody bid on it because it was shit description and shit pictures. So I contacted her when the auction ended and I'm an opportunist, um, opportunist, opportunist. And I said, I'll give you, yes, I, I, I added more money this time. I'll give you $60 for this item if you just sell it to me. And she wrote back, okay, no more no with three exclamation points. And she sold it to me. She relisted it, $60, buy it now. Here we are. I'm afraid to look at it. Ah, okay, this could be bad. This could be very, very bad. This could be $60 in the garbage pail. Or it could be good. Okay, so far we have a styrofoam issue. I'll be right back. I have to blow this off. Okay, so as you can see, this is toast. She wrote in the description, I do not know how to get this thing to work. And I was hoping that the atomizer, this is a piston pump. I love, I'm a, like a freak about piston pump atomizers. She said, don't know how to get this to work. Does that mean it doesn't work? Or does that mean uh, it, it might be fucking busted excuse my language i know i have a truck driver's mouth um hmm we're about to find out all right so let's look at this first hold on all 
All right, so we have nudes. We have nude ladies going around it. This is not as toasty as I thought in the pictures. It looked terrible. This is bronze doré, which is a, or nickel plated, like some kind of like brass nickel plated type of metal. It's almost always like this. Like, you know what I mean? Patina. Patina. It means it's old, right? Okay. No big deal. Uh, but I'm hoping, what was I saying with my attention deficit? Okay. Basically, either it works or it doesn't. Do we want it to work? Hell yeah. All right, so we got the nudes going across. Very Lalik. And I've never had a piece of Lalik in my collection. Why? Because it's too freaking expensive. Does it have the mark? She mentioned a tiny chip in her three-sentence uh, description. She wrote, don't know if it works. Tiny chip on bottom. All right. Let's see. She's claimed it had a chip on the bottom. Let's feel around. I don't feel shiz. Why is my camera not focusing? You piece of turd. Okay. Um... Oh, we got the marking. It says La Lique. I think that says Paris. No, France. La Lique, France. And what's this say? I can't see. I'll be able to see it when I see the video later and I blow it up on my huge 27-inch screen. Okay, something La Lique. All right, does it work? Does it work? Now, I don't even see the, really the chip she's talking about. She claimed it was on the bottom. Yeah, I, I really don't see it. Did it mysteriously disappear? I sure in hell's hope so. All right. Does this work? Ugh. All right. So basically how these work is you press down the button, turn it counterclockwise or clockwise to open or shut it. We'll find out on this episode of did I just waste 60 bucks? Well, fuck me. Well, fuck me dead. <laughs> fuck me dead. Oh, shit. It's not working. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Can I fix it? That is the question. I'm one of those. I don't give up until I fix shit. We'll figure this out. Sometimes the, the mechanism gets stopped up because perfume gums up inside this. All right? And so that could be our reason that this button is seized up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of crust in there. I'll be back. All right. So I cleaned it as much as I could with Simicrone. And I cleaned the inside of the bottle. It was filthy. And now you can see, like, the luminescence of almost like a moonlight type of look to the crystal my hands are covered in in simicrone and polish and so excuse me i got like all dirty but uh okay this little button on the top i suspect was never supposed to extend upwards like some of them i think it's just a button that you just press it's just not working i took the mechanism apart i took everything apart cleaned all the gunk out it happens shit happens so this is just for display so let's go ahead and take a look at the beautiful, come on, focus, focus, enhance, damn it. Okay, there we go. The beautiful muses, I think they call these women muses. Let's check it out. Let's turn it around. It has its original cap and chain. Sorry, I need a manicure. And it does say something. Let's try to, let's try to focus on that. It says, we'll find out, oh, made in France. Well, no shit. <laughs> some some different companies actually made these atomizers or piston pump bottles, and they made them in different like uh like tops. So you'll see some with more fancier tops, some bigger, some smaller. This one is one of the small squat bottles. They're not um they they did make them in bigger sizes. Unfortunately, I thought this was going to be the bigger one, but for sixty bucks, I am definitely not disappointed let's go outside take a quick look at it in the light and then we'll go over some of these bottles what they sell for and more of the history of these bottles first off the bat for me to get one of these in my collection is actually amazing because someone's playing rap music right now i'm gonna get copyrighted <sighs> go away go away okay <sighs> from one of, from, oh my god I have, like, I get distracted so easy. For, for me to get one of these in my collection, it would never happen. Can't afford the retail value of what these are worth. But uh, this is really beautiful, although it does not work. Uh, a lot of antique or vintage perfume collectors, uh, when I say perfume collectors, I mean the bottles, want them to work. Well, I mean, who doesn't? You don't want to get something that's busted. But at the same time... You know, it's for display. This is a piece of art. A uh, piece of art. Lalique was like an art glass, and so this can be displayed out really nicely with your uh, collection. Let's go ahead look at the bottom. I really don't see too much damage. The bottle is in really good shape. Of course, the brass or the uh, 
bronze doré as they called it is going to be worse for the wear Shiz happens over time. This I'm going to guesstimate was made between the 1920s and the 1930s. Now I'm afraid I'm, I'm actually shaking right now holding this bottle in my hand because I would never be able to afford it at the value it's worth if I had to pay full retail value. If I drop this, I am fucked, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and get in there. So we got muses, naked ladies with garlands. This is a really Art Deco, the height of Art Deco. And we got another muse, she's doing a dance. And then let's turn it and we got another muse. And they're all under some kind of a dance trance. Can I say that, dance trance? There we go, it's almost iridescent, but frosted, almost like a cameo type of glass, although I suspect it was molded. I don't think Lalique actually hand blown these pieces. I'm looking for a seam. You can generally tell by seams. I do see a seam going down here. So I don't think uh, Lalique's pieces were actually hand blown. I think they were actually pressed and molded. Did someone just get into a car accident? Okay, <laughs> and let's go ahead and check out more of these bottles right now. And we'll, what the fudge? Oh, great, dirt bikes in a residential street. Really, ugh. every time I try to do a video, we're doing dirt bikes right now. Can you imagine this? In suburbia, you're not allowed to do this. You're breaking the law, breaking the law, eh, eh. breaking the law, breaking the law. Eh, eh. All right, I'm going inside now before I lose my mind. All right, I'll be honest with you. I collect these pin uh, piston pump atomizer bottles and the Lalique was a real letdown. Hmm. And I noticed that I had like smut, uh, schmutz inside my nails as I was taking the video outside. Sorry about that. I told you I was cleaning this goddamn thing. I even have, yeah, I have all my tools out. I was like doing all sorts of shit to it. And I even washed my hands. But when you have long nails, yes, it's hard to get the schmutz out of the inside of your nails. All right. So, uh, Lalique, you let me down. I mean, I really think you're beautiful, but I don't think you're that. Like, what was all the freaking, what was all the, like, hoopla over? Like, seriously. All right, cool. So we got some muses going around the bottle. Yeah, it's beautiful in shiz, but you should have did something better about your, your top parts. When you made perfume bottles, you should have made them so that they're tarnish proof. But oh well, you can't have it all. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go do a segue. What the hell is Lalique if you never heard of it before? Did I pronounce it right? We'll find that out. And we'll also find out uh, what kind of other glass they made and how much do these bottles sell for? And what the hell is a piston pump atomizer? Yes, I did a how to pronounce Lalique and I found out it's pronounced not Lalique, La Leek. Like you got a leak, a leak in your boat, right? You got a boat and it's got a leak in it. Pump travel atomizers, and you can find many different ones at different price ranges, all from that time of the Art Deco and before period. Uh, somewhere in, in the 1890s to about uh, 1920s, pushing it in 1930s, they made these horrible, terrible piston pump travel atomizer bottles. Some buyers may be interested in seeing if your bottle's plunger works or you may be stumped on how to open it, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? It didn't work. Cleaning. Look at your bottle. The mount has two parts. Try some WD-40. Couldn't find WD-40. Why? Because my heinous husband put it someplace that I can't find it. Um, it, it basically says don't attempt to open it up with pliers. <laughs> and uh, I did do that. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Here's a uh, Theophilius Martin circa 1900 piston pump atomizer. How they pop open the plunger. I suspect my Lalique may have done that at one time. But it doesn't do that anymore. And apparently, uh, yes, they sold them in many different eras. Uh, starting from the 1890s. All the way through the 1920s. And here we go. Imported pump atomizers. Lalique or St. Louis glass exclusively. Now in 1928, $6.95 and $4.44 was a lot of money. And here we go. This is very similar. Uh, we got the Lalique glass. But a different type of top. As I told you, different makers made different tops for them. Here's another one. This is a actual fake Lalique. Yes, there was uh, companies in 1932 making fake Lalique glass, but it was similar to Lalique. Lalique type glass. And look, only one doll hair. 
as opposed to six ninety five or six or four forty five. Now, how much was six ninety five in nineteen twenty eight? We're about to find out. We're in the Wayback Machine. One dollar in eighteen ninety is worth thirty three dollars and eighty two cents. Wow, inflation, baby. All right, six ninety five nineteen twenty eight to now, it would be one hundred and twenty five and ten cents for a Lalique freaking piston pump bottle i want to go back to 1928 right now and buy a whole shitload of them in brand new working condition so were these popular the answer is no and many different french makers and different companies actually made them and they were not populator and uh, populator uh popular popular why because they leaked all over ladies gloves and made a freaking mess and uh yeah it was not cool on another website, R. Le Le uh, La Leak, I was going to say Lay Leak, I always do that, LaLeak.com. They show you many of these uh, atomizers and, uh, yeah, in different colors, different uh, stoppers on the top. It gives you uh, really good information. Here we go. Look, that's toast. As you can tell, a lot of these were toast. Here we go. Here's another one. And I guess the button, it might, I don't see the shape. Mine was more like square instead of like you know, sinewy. So I don't know if the button was supposed to pop up. Here's uh, another one with a fancy top. And uh, this was never cleaned, as you can tell. Yes, I'm a fanatic about cleaning my glass. Here's many, many more that you will come across in your collection or collecting. It's not often. Here we go. This is uh, our bottle. Ren uh, Rene Lalique figurines atomizer. Here was, we got another one in nickel. And that would look like silver. And there we go. And then they got fancier. Some companies use fancier tops. Lalique supplied the glass for the metal makers. And there we go. Here's many, many different ones that you'll find. This one is missing the top on it. I don't feel so bad anymore. There we go. This plunger is popped up. Here's another one. And another one. And another one. So as you can see, they made quite a few with different types of tops, different sizes, different colors. And what do they sell for? many different prices so let's check out one that's similar to mine and we'll have we'll have to like scroll up to find one here we go we'll click on it and it says it does not even tell us oh it says it was estimated to sell at 80 to 100 euros back in 2017 and it doesn't say how much it sold for and uh, as you can tell either it sells for a lot or it sells for little this one was made by Marca, uh, Marcos at Dardell, 1924. So they have many different dates. This one was uh, estimated to sell between two to 400 doll hairs. And it does not say that it sold. And uh, yeah, so you can basically get the idea that many of these sell at different prices. Here's this one estimated to be sold. This was in 1924. This one was estimated to be sold at between 600 established value to 900 us dollars it does not say if it sold and uh i don't know let's continue to go let's find one with a broken top and this one was esti uh, uh, estimated at 1924 estimated value 150 sterling great britain pounds to 200 great britain pounds which in us our money is worth less than theirs even with a broken freaking top and a missing button you got a whole bunch of them and uh you know, either they sell for a lot or they sell for a little. And in my case, I got a good steal off of it. Here we go. One on Cherish. My dogs are being jackasses and scratching on the door to come in. Six fifty. This was made in 1930. Okay, so this looks like mine. This looks like a lot like mine. All right, so six fifty. I'm sure the plunger works. All right, let's check out uh, another one. This one with a golden. T it's not real gold, by the way. Nine hundred dollars. And there we go, figures of women. Now you know why I needed to win that. And here's another one. They come in different sizes. They come with different decorations. This one has a perfume stain on it. And uh, yeah, so sold for $7.50. Okay, so they go for, I don't know, you can get one for 50 cents out of a gumball machine, basically, where you can pay $7.50. Okay, I know nothing about Lalique Glass. The only thing I ever knew about it was that it was expensive and I couldn't afford it. Lalique is best known for producing glass art, including bottles, vases, ornaments. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, 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 blah, 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 blah. I think I'm drunk. Back. Uh, I think I take too much Xanax, so my brain is like not all there. Lalique is best known. They made hood ornaments during the 20th century following the death of, 
I don't know. Uh, they made glass uh, wear. Uh, the lost box technique, innovative, meticulous, secret know-how at the surface of his section. Xanax does this to the brain. Exceptional creations and work. That's what happens when you have anxiety. It turns your brain to mush. The service of exceptional creations and works of art. The procedure also employed by Rene Lalique. Lalique. I don't know. Until 1930. Provides a unique texture and peerless level detail. What, uh, how can I tell if my glass is Lalique? It has uh, pieces made before 1945 were signed with an R in front of the signature. To signify that they were made by Rene Lalique. Let's check out mine. Can we even see the R? Have no clue. Don't even give a shiz. It's so special about Lalique. Lalique is a prominent uh, Lalique is a prominent name to art glass connoisseurs. I can pronounce that. Best known for intricate nature inspired glass designs, the luxury brand was founded over 130 years ago in Paris by visionary craftsman Rene Lalique, 1860 to 1945. Interesting. Do they still make glass? The answer is yes. What makes it so expensive? It's like the Louis Vuitton of glass. The most expensive pieces of Lalique tend to be uh, Rene Lalique's Serre Perdue works. Unique creations cast by Lost Wax process that necessitates that the mold is broken in use. Understandably, Serre Perdue Lalique, Lalique uh, exists in very small numbers. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Do they still make Lalique? Today, Lalique produces an array of luxury pro Would I buy it now? No, because it's not antique. It's not, Now it's mass-produced shit, uh, pretty much. Is damaged Lalique worth anything? Many people will still buy damaged pieces, but for a much lower price. My glass is not damaged. It's just the uh, button that doesn't work. And uh, our Lalique pieces are extremely rare. Is Lalique worth co uh, collecting? Uh, for instance, Lalique car mascots, perfume bottles in the form of flowers with original stoppers, horse heads, figural animals, and birds are all rare. Quite correct, uh, collectible and ultra valuable. Collectors regular, regularly pay thousands of dollars to what? Wait, thousands of doll hairs to tens of thousands for such Lalique art glass. Oh, oh, I can't stand this lady. Okay, I'm not even going to check out uh, what she says about it. Ugh. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So what did we learn today, boys and girls? That this bottle might be worth just 60 doll hairs. It could be worth 750 doll hairs. It could be worth uh, five shekels. And uh, I like it because I never had it in my collection before. I always wanted uh, this type of a glass in my collection. Couldn't afford it. Uh, was able to afford it with the help of I don't know, some poor schmuck selling it on, on eBay or Fleabay. And so now we got Lalique Gloss uh, perfume bottle. Do I have any schmutz inside my nails? I hope not. And uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Wait, maybe maybe you're born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. All right, I can't get that commercial out of my head. Jeez, Louise, I'm a kid of the 70s and 80s. What do you want from me? All right, commercials were everywhere. It got stuck in our freaking heads. That's why we begged our parents to buy shiz. And uh, there we go. We got some titty, titty lady, titty lady right there. The titty lady. <laughs> and we got the booty lady. All right. And do we have titty lady again? No, she has no tits. And we got, yeah, titty lady over here and booty lady over here. And yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And so what do I think this is valued at? I have no clue. If I was to sell this in my Etsy shop, not eBay. If I sold this on eBay, I could probably only get 60 doll hairs for it. If I was to sell it in my Etsy shop with the button not working, I wouldn't list this for less than 350 to 475 doll hairs. Would it sell? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, my mother always said there's an ass for every seat. And some ass would come around and decide to buy this glass. And uh, it might sit there for two years. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon. And so long.